Hey guys, welcome back to Night in the Woods with Rainbow Tastic and Samuel. Hi. And I think we were going to spend quality time with uh, Dad here. Did you go upstairs first? Oof. Hey, Dad. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. I think your socializing was getting stabbed in the hand. Oh yeah, that is what we did last time, isn't it? Okay. Still hasn't moved the boxes. <coughs> Alright, Dad. You, are you going to move the boxes this time? Hmm? I'd like to know if this is I'm here with TV. Any idea what was up with Mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. <clears throat> oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get a more specific. <laughs> oh no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. Speaking of stress, there you go. So how about those, uh, crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay. I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. Ugh. <laughs> really? This show sucks. Wait, did that just say Trump? Um. Too late now. Yeah, too late now. I guess we'll see it in the playback. Mm. That's a whoopa. <laughs> okay. As exciting as that was. Time for bed. Time for a new day. Get get on the stairs, Tiffana. 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 Hey, B, you there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching media music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were like 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. Gonna get back to work. Night, night. Greg! Hey, kid. Hey, hey, yo. Thanks for hanging earlier. <clears throat> no problem, dude. How are your knife wounds? I ran them under some water. I didn't see you do that. I figured that'll fix them. Sounds right. Sorry I was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just... Yeah. Get some sleep, man. No. <laughs> Not bra. Okay, it doesn't take that long to get it. Well, sometimes it does. Bedtime? Yes. Yes, it's bedtime. They're still so freaking cute. So freaking cute. See if he moved the boxes when you wake up. Will do. Are we are we going to Dreamland? Or are we gonna have another oh, yeah. oh yeah. This I feel like you're going into a like depression spiral with your dreams. I just want you to know that. This is um 
Tiffin has got some issues, man. Well, I still want to know who she killed. I don't think she killed anyone. Just put someone in the hospital. Her nickname's Tilly. Yeah, well, you know how kids exaggerate. Yeah. But that old man, though. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What the hell? I don't know, Make but I'm gonna get to the, the top of this thing. The light. Oh. Okay, I thought I was going to show her. Oh, it's another one of these. And the music begins. Okay, I thought you died. Yeah, I thought I was going to die too, but this is a dream. So. This is one of those falling dreams, I guess. Ha. <laughs> Except we actually land. There's something wrong with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm getting that now. I'm trying to figure out the meaning. I'm like, what does this mean? What does it mean? It's so beautiful! <laughs> it's a double rainbow! God, I got so tired of that so quick. You know how many double rainbows I saw after that? One? Probably like ten. Like they're not, they're not as rare as you think they are. Yeah. I think it's about being in the right place at the right time. Uh, this music sounds very really disconnected. A little bit, yeah, now that, now that you mention it. Okay, I think it's actually getting closer to being not horrible. Okay, let's get the red light. Brown! No idea. Oh, oh that's okay. You can get that one. One, two, three. Now are these chains that you're having on? No idea. Go to that box, I okay. think. Oh, I didn't even see that there. Whoa, um, okay. I was just going to time. I just have a message on. Oop, fell down. Should be one more thing, I think. Yeah, there's one more. I, I just remembered what we figured out in like, the last one. Where we gotta follow the red glowy right glowy oh, light wow. in the corner. I forgot about that. <clears throat> I just could not clear my throat at all today. I feel like we're going the opposite direction. I, I am. I'm trying to find my way back up. Just want to make sure I wasn't going too far. Okay, now this is starting to sound like something from Zelda. A little bit. Huh. I didn't realize those light things came up with every person you saw. Those lights over there with the sticks. Oh yeah. Oh, did you not notice that in the last... Couple ones? Probably not. I'm not really good with noticing the same thing. Oh. 
So you just have to follow your death. Got it. It's up there. All the way up there. Yep. Okay, cool. Another dream done. Let's see what freaky thing happens in this one. Um. No beads up! Don't eat me! I guess you should hang out with B today. <laughs> I guess so. Or have a random fear of her. I don't know. Uh, or hide away from four or hide or let her eat you I mean or we could stop having trippy dreams nah alright let's see what everyone's up to Got wrong button, damn it. Away message. Annual horror fest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. What? It's that. Happy Halloween, dude. Oh, shit. Wait, it's Halloween? Get spooked or something. Oh my god, Halloween. Um. I kind of forgot it was autumn. Yeah. The old pickaxe. I don't... Go, go, bye. Yay. Uh, thanks for reminding me, dude. Oh, yeah. Yay. Oh. Not what I expected for some reason. Hmm. An old safe. How am I going to open this thing? Dynamite? No. You can't jump on that? What the fuck? Hmm, gotta be a way to open this safe. I uh, probably would ask your mom or something. I don't yeah. see anything here though. <gasps> it's your family. But they're the killers. <laughs> totally. They, they hide the rest of the body in that, that safe. Look at that guy with that sword right there. I mean, oh. I've never noticed that before. I but. never noticed that either. Hey, Mom. <clears throat> mm hmm. Hey. Um. You okay? Sure, honey. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Um, okay, not really. Yes, we're gonna yeah. talk about school. So what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where should you be? What does that even mean? Never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing some shade here. Where's this coming from? You know you're the... the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide it wasn't where you should be. 
Are you, like, having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house. <laughs> um, damn. Okay. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Please don't tell your mom to F off. I, I'm not going to. I have way more respect for... for... Well, I can't technically say that, but... Well, not yours. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of reasons behind that, but... Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know... Getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to... Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Oh my god. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Shit! Oh, that was... Oh. That was, um... That was the most brutal display of passive aggressiveness I've ever seen. I don't know if that was passive aggressive or... I was just like... It started out that way. It escalated quickly. That kind of hurt my heart. I thought your mom... Oh. <laughs> you and your mom seemed like you were in a nice place. Yeah, did that just kind of came out of nowhere almost. Hey, Selmers. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Sure. Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. <laughs> cool. cool. I'm I microwaved. Pizza I'd saved. The pizza cold is breakfast gold. <gasps> oh, that's so that's true. A good one. Yeah, that is a good one. <clears throat> it really happened. This, um... Wow, I cannot get over the conversation she just had with her mother. I'm kind of just like... I don't know what to feel. I don't know how I feel about that right now. I... I uh... I, I don't even have... See what's on the PS board! Okay. If I could hit the right button, you know. Oh, nothing. Except for that river. What's with the ball? I don't know, but I like that ball. I like it too, but... I, I wish I could take it with me. Why can't you take it with you? That's my problem. It's just... I don't know. Like, it's upsetting. Uh, that ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust dry it. <laughs> Load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. Amen, girl. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone. Let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have to hit the record at Harfest tonight. Fine, then. I'll send all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Swirly, swirly, swirly. Oh god. Hi, Molly. Um, hey, Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, Tiffany. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for. What are you doing? Walking off the road. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. <laughs> that would be impressive. I'll look into it. That was a pleasant exchange of words for once. Aw, oh, everything is so great and harfesty. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. Okay. 
I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. Harfesty. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit, taking the Harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. You hype for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. Yeah, because that's not That dumb. actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get pizza, too. All to myself. Wow. You have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? <laughs> Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Yep. See ya. Later. Well, uh, alright then. Wonder what Greg's up to. I'm gonna go check on him real quick. I wonder if he's that way. He's got me with worried. Harfest thing. That cat looks done with life. Which one? This one. I see two. They both look pretty dumb. The little one, yeah. I'm just kidding. Greg! Greg! Hey, man. How's things? Good. Harfest rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. <laughs> I done got horrored. Getting horrid at work is the worst. When I had that job that one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job. Ugh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now. And it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So, what's up? Uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude! Especially, especially after the conversation I just had with my mother. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if you're gonna express your feelings to Greg. Is this gonna be real? Oh my god! Ha <laughs> ha! This time, hit it. Oh, I can move around. Okay. May, jeez. Ow! Ow, jeez. Woo! Yeah, got one. Boom. Boom. <laughs> you should try hitting it with, with the, the bat. bat. Hit it. Hit. It's kind of hard to tell where it's going to go, dude. Whip. Okay, I got one. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, what the F? Come on, Greg. Knock it off. <laughs> it's not funny, dude. Bam. Bam. Okay. Hit the bottle with the thing. He throws it. Blam. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm done. Before I lose an eye. Oh, I have nowhere near that good a shot. So what's up? Nothing. Bye. All right then. <laughs> so what's up? Yeah. Am I eye? Yeah, I'm not going to go to the creepy broken down part of town. See if, uh, what's-his-face is working. Angus? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Where is everybody? What? Oh my god. We used to do that. Awesome. Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. I don't know what words were exchanged, but okay. Probably, um, rolling town. Okay. Alright. Maybe.
Maybe I wanted a pretzel. Did you ever think about that? Maybe I wanted a pretzel. Okay, so... Go home and get ready. Hopefully okay. I'll actually wear a costume. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and I kind of hope... I, ah, your mom kind of depressed me right now. Yeah, kind of ruined my day. I mean, I feel like you're going through financial problems now that you got out of college and wasted all that money for nothing. What, what a bitch, Tiffany. Yeah. God, Tiffany. What the fuck? Oh, this is your house. I didn't realize that. Okay, good. She's not here. That would have been uncomfortable. Any day now, Tiffana. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. <laughs> Sweet. I like it. Which dagger? That's so cute. <laughs> Well, I guess well, you should right go to the then. old pickaxe to watch something about... I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> cool. Hello? Hmm. They must already be out. Harvest. How long does it take you to get out of the fucking door, Tiffany? Yeah, Tiffana. Oh. <laughs> cool. I look at cool pit kid. Can you drop this dude? I guess not. I can't jump. Oh. Hmm. Oh, hey, Dan. <coughs> hey, when's this suppo thing supposed to start? That's Dan. Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? Uh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear you. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. <laughs> what? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please? It's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote this like six times in the past two years. To be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. Okay, weird. It starts off normal but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Shh, I can wing it. Tiffany, please don't wing it. Okay. You're gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it. Oh, shit. I don't... Oh, okay. <laughs> I like Dan. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ghosts. RB here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be. Through the mists of time I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John! Yes, Brother Stephen. 
From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow. And within a great dead tree. And besides with... Ah! Uh, which a spring! Bless we are, Brother Stephen. For truly my throat is parched. From these long arduous travels and carrying these 300 beaver pelts on my head apparently let us make haste oh excellent brother uh hmm Haggard witch! Horrible to look upon! Cruel! Shut up, nature! That kind of goes with the scene, I guess. Yeah, true. Cruel young men. You did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts <clears throat> to warm my ancient bones. I shall curse ye and thee, and this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Ye he he. Oh. I was born among these trees. Need the harvest moon, and you shall die under that moon. Line, brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Faith. brother Stephen, thou art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. I was just clapping. Oh man, are we doing another scene? Yeah, I wonder how many scenes there are. Help! Help! Who will help a poor traveler? Oh. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! I swear the friend, fiend, friend, 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 that this very day, this horrifying crone did curse thy brother and I to die. Zwounds? Yeah. We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree. And even now his body lieth upon the earth. Lifeless as a pile of 300 beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. Eehee. <laughs> I did curse the spring. That any man who drinketh from it shall perish. Ah, I am slain. I join thee now, Brother Stephen. <laughs> wow. I am also undone, for I have drinketh from the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Oh, God, there's another scene.
Oh man. <sighs> I wonder if Angus is in this. Maybe? We'll find out. Oh. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, are we now ghosts? Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. It, it would seem nope. that... Oh, sorry. You I forget go. you're reading for you, both. I don't... You can go. I don't care. <laughs> it would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Is that it? Oh. Uh, um, crap. For... For what is a ghost? But that which haunts the empty space that was once full. And once haunted, can a place be unhaunted? <laughs> you! From the bus station! Young witch! It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way? So. Which thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night. Though the stranger places. Oh God, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We began... And we end at night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest God, thou has no power here. Even now, thy end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth. And you can say what lieth in the world to come. Wow. Beware as you go. For there are ghosts. Woo! Take care. I, hope that's the end. I really do too. Oh, I think it is. Uh oh. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population... <clears throat> the beaver population suffered a decline. And now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be a, the county seat. <laughs> now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here. For who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. <laughs> okay, um, that was a very interesting episode of this, guys. I can't wait to see what else is in store. But it's run over long enough, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.